Welcome to the Safa. I'm back again with another episode of tasting food. It's a little bit dark here. I just got back from work. I work in a uh, yard, as you all know. Um, I live in a kraus and it's very noisy there. So I try to do things where it's quiet and the only place is the car. And you'll notice the little light on the right shining on my face. Uh, that's just a little bit support with the light that I'm losing currently. So I'm going to try and do this really quickly and uh, get through it so I can give you guys a good video. Enjoy! First up I have a super crisp grilled seaweed. <laughs> so just to let you guys know this is all from Korea and this looks weird already. Okay let's give it a shot. What's up with these people in packaging? <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I knew they were testing my my arm strength. <laughs> Damn. So, I don't know what kimchi flavor. I have no idea what jinki means. This is how it looks like. Looks like paper, like sanding paper, like we use on the boat. Oh, this is horrible. Uh. 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 That's ter <laughs> That's terrible. It's spicy. It's obviously seaweed, but it tastes fishy. It smells fishy. Tastes fishy. With a little bit of chili. This is just absolutely horrible. Don't eat this. Bad. Next up I have ooh, something familiar actually. Cheetos made in Korea. So I wanna try and see what the flavor is because I'm pretty sure it's not cheese. If they say it's cheese it's probably I don't know cheese made of dog. Okay, let's go. I got stronger. Doesn't smell like cheese. Looks like Cheetos, but very light, so I'm actually scared to taste this. Wow. Oh. Flavor says sweet and spicy flavored snack. It's very light. Sweet. Like two out of ten spicy. Maybe one and a half out of ten spicy. You guys probably know by now I love spicy. So it needs to be really spicy before I can call it spicy. This is like two out of ten. Sweetness is good. Overall it's not bad. Not bad. I'll recommend this. I'll probably give this five out of ten. Next up, I have onion tofu snack. What is that? Okay, any case, let's try that. Isn't tofu cheese? It smells like onion. Why don't they?
tofu snack with onion. Also from Korea. This is very light. It's not much flavor to it. I get the onion a little bit. But it's okay. Not much onion. Very light though. Not bad. I'll give onion tofu snack. 5 out of 10. Give it a go. Put it in your party package when people come over. So let's see what I have next. Korean ginseng drink. It looks like fresh gin, ginseng sugar. I don't. What the fudge is that? What is that in the bottle? <laughs> looks like a little human alien or something. That's weird. Where did I come up with these things? Okay, let's... I know it's a root vegetable thing and I think they make energy drinks out of this as well. As far as I know. So let's give it a try. I hope they cleaned it. doesn't smell appealing it smells like a, a carrot that's been sitting in water for like 23 years <laughs> okay and that's exactly how it tastes like a carrot that's been sitting in a bottle for 23 years now make it 33 it's not horrible, but definitely not my favorite. Ching ching! Next up is what is this? Premium cookies, Jeju Mocha cashew cookies. Oh, I like cashews. Uniquely crispy, deeply delicious. <sighs> Something I'm familiar with. Chocolates, sugar. Unless they put other things in here. Okay, so let's see. I swear people that make these things hate me. Hate people like me. I don't know what they Ooh, this is nice. Oops. So if you can see there is like almost like a tray full of cookies. Indiv individually packed for freshness and goodness. So I'm gonna try one. I like cashews. I like sweet things. Holy cracker moly. You taste the coffee, the mocha. A little bit of van vanilla. You get the cashews. You have like pieces of cashews in there it's good and they call it jerkies very good I'll give this a six and a half out of ten but yeah I have choco boy choco boy I guess it's another sweet.
chocolate. And then in this box, you have like a little bag with the Choco Boys. In. Oh man, these packages. You can see that it looks like, um, yeah, use your imagination. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks like a little cookie with a little head on it. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like one. <laughs> okay, I'll. I'll eat it from this side because I, if I eat it like this, then you guys are gonna comment like no tomorrow. So I'll eat it like this. On her, I don't know how to eat this thing. This is weird. Weirdest thing I've ever e eaten in a shape like this. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, the Choco Boy, and they call it the Choco Boy. I mean. You make cookies in shapes like this and you call it a boy and I have to eat this? Koreans, come on, come on. This must be from North Korea. Come on. Hey? Okay, let's try it. it smells like chocolate. Ooh, this is nice. This is crunchy, like really crunchy, and then this chocolate is a bit gooey, like <laughs> chewy. <laughs> hey, stop it! Don't get the the mind. <laughs> this video is not for children. Okay, I like this a lot. Very sweet. This is nice and crunchy. Hmm. This is really good. Love this. <laughs> I love, I'm not a fan of the shape, especially if you're a guy. But sweetness, crunchiness, I'll give this a seven. This is really good. I like this a lot. This next, I haven't read it yet. I need to wash down all that sugar and uh, all that thoughts. Okay, so I love mango. And this is a sparkling mango. I don't know what, they just say sparkling mando mango. So I guess it's like a sparkling drink or sparkling flavored water. I have absolutely no idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one. Hmm. Smells like mango. Well, they sure it's mango. What is that? You get the flavor, mango flavor, but then this weird taste after with taste come through and it's just weird I don't know where they get it from but it smells like mango if you drink it tastes a little bit like mango and then boom tastes like dead fish afterwards mm -mm. something is wrong do they know they can't put fish flavors in a mango flavored drink? Ah, this is bad. I'll give this half a point. I don't know what that aftertaste is. Guys, do not buy this horrible noodle Korean challenge. So this is the actual noodles that I bought in an Asian place. This is supposed to be really hot like hot chicken flavor ramen and this is made in Korea 
and they said it's two times as spicy than normal ones so my tolerance for spiciness is quite high I can take a lot of spicy and uh, I will let you know how spicy it is so before I started this whole video I cooked some noodles and this noodles and uh, I'm gonna try it now so uh, I've seen a lot of videos where people went on about it and it's hot and you know so I'll, I'll justify that you see all that steam coming out no I'm joking there's no steam so I'm gonna take a few bites it smells like chicken though I wonder what these red things are probably the chilies okay let's see <clears throat> uh, and guess what I only have that mango drink thingy if it's really that bad to wash this down oh and that other carrot thing I don't know what it is It's hot, eh? Woo this is hot. This is really hot. You you feel like it is like a ball of fire running through here, and then my chest is currently like a wildfire it's spreading over my chest and it's hot bro like it's whoo I have a lot of high to <coughs> high tolerance for spiciness this is really spicy Yeah, this is spicy. I'll give it. Whew. I'll give this. <coughs> I'll give this uh, a nine. I don't. Whew, so give me that mango fish drink. It is hot. That's really hot. But it's good. Oh, wait. Save it. Save it. So, if you guys like spiciness, buy this. No, not that. That's, it's really spicy. I'm not even joking. I challenge you. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That will help me and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything, just press that uh, little bell. And uh, you will get notifications. Cheers.